name is Stephen Facero, and this is my nomination for Craft Hockey Bill on behalf of our Fort Erie Leisure Plex here in Fort Erie, Ontario. I'm a lifelong Detroit Red Wings fan, very rare for Fort Erie. We're full of Buffalo Sabres and Toronto Maple Leafs diehard fans. Wearing my autographed Steve Eiserman Team Canada jersey, one of my prized possessions. But regardless of where our allegiances lie with our pro NHL teams here in Fort Erie, the one thing we're all passionate about is our youth hockey. Boys and girls from throughout our community come to this facility. Our parking lot has been packed since 6 a.m. this morning. Excited boys and girls of all ages with their parents, excited grandparents, family and friends, all looking to be possibly in the NHL one day, like so many others who have come from Fort Erie. This is a great community. We have people from the NHL in the past. We have past and current referees in the NHL as well. And whether we're here at the Leisure Plex or Crystal Ridge Arena skating indoors or outdoors on one of our many frozen ponds, our passion for hockey runs deep. We're a great town. I believe we can be a great hockey bill on behalf of Kraft. We look forward to hosting you here and we look forward to showing you everything that Fort Erie has to offer in the world of hockey. Please consider us. Thank you for your consideration. Look forward to seeing you. Imagine J.L. Craft was born in an uh, area of town that's now that's known as Stevensville. It's part of the town of Fort Erie. And when he was a, a young lad, he began work at one of the stores down along the Niagara River in what we call the south end of town, which is near the Peace Bridge between Fort Erie and, and Buffalo. And he worked in the store for a while, and then he eventually um, was able to develop a process for um, cheese which allowed the cheese to last for a longer period of time. It's called processed cheese. J.L. Kraft uh, grew up here. Uh, there, were, there are still many ancestors of J.L. Kraft living in town uh, and it's quite a large presence in the community. His home uh, out on Bowen Road in Stevensville has been designated as a heritage site in the town of Fort Erie. And there are a couple of other locations where he resided uh, throughout the town and they're quite well known in the community. We have a rich history of, of hockey teams. Um, in the old days, there were some fantastic uh, senior teams that came out of Fort Erie uh, uh, championship teams, uh, junior hockey teams in the middle of the last century, which did very well and were Ontario champions at a time when it was a junior C town. So uh, lots of the players that uh, grew up in town played on those teams. Uh, but we've had some NHL uh, um, individuals uh, who grew up or either were born or, or moved at a young age to Fort Erie. I'm thinking of Kenny Reardon, Mickey McMahon and his son, um, Mickey Jr. Um, we've also got uh, Don Simmons who had a, a store here for, for many, many years. Eddie Chadwick who played with the Toronto Maple Leafs lives in town. We've got um, Tom Reed, of course, who played uh, with uh, the Minnesota North Stars and is still working for uh, Minnesota Wild on their broadcast team. Pierre Pilot uh, was, was raised in Fort Erie and he's still got family in town. We had uh, Mike Lawler who was on uh, Montreal Canadiens team that won the Stanley Cup back in the last century, last Canadian team to, to win. Uh, Stan Drulia, uh, Randy Burridge, Lynn Zimmerman um, played with the Houston Arrows when they won the Avco Cup and I'm not sure if the Howes were playing with them at the time but I believe that they were. Uh, Bubby Stapleton, Dougie Rombo uh, played with Montreal and Buffalo and uh, so there's, I, I know I'm going to miss some but there's a long line of, of individuals who have uh, excelled and played very well at, at upper ranks not only the NHL but uh, American Hockey League, uh, WHA, 
a lot of junior players, a lot of college players have come out of Fort Erie and pursued their education and, and succeeded. So I, I hope I didn't miss anybody of great prominence, but uh, there's a lot of them. This is our Fort Erie Sports Wall of Fame, located on the north wall of our one ice surface here at the Leisure Plex. A testament to many of the sports greats here in Fort Erie. If you take a look through predominantly hockey, which shows you the passion that runs deep in our community. Every year, residents of our community put forward nominations for those they think are worthy and eligible. And one of our great service clubs here in town, the Fort Erie Kinsmen, have the task of choosing not only the winners, but showcasing an event worthy of the accomplishments these individuals have put into their sports and also into their hometown of Fort Erie. We're very fortunate in the town of Fort Erie. We have basically three pads. We have a, a twin rink which was constructed about uh, just over 20 years ago and attached to it is a large banquet hall. And then we have a rink in, uh, in Ridgeway, another part of the town of Fort Erie, which also has attached to it a banquet hall. And those rinks, um, that rink would have been constructed probably closer to 45 years ago. Um, and those rinks are, are, generally speaking, well maintained by the municipality, but there are things like compressors, uh, we have a Zamboni, we have a series of, of uh, machines that uh, maintain the ice in those facilities. But we do need, uh, we will be needing a new Zamboni, a compressor, and maybe some uh, roof work on one of the arenas. Uh, we need some enhancements to the dressing rooms. And uh, so that type of thing, uh, which we would be looking for. And that's how we would utilize the, the money. And if we uh, are fortunate enough to be selected as the winning community, uh, that money would be put to a good use in uh, town. But uh, yeah, I played, uh, I, I did play junior B in town uh, way, way back in the last century. I did go to the States and played uh, some college hockey there. Uh, so I'm quite familiar with the game. Uh, I still try to play a little bit of pickup with the uh, team from the town that uh, plays on Friday afternoons, Friday evenings. But uh, I can tell you that my mind knows what my body should be doing, but my body isn't just quite getting there fast enough. So it, it's a great sport, it's a great pastime. We have a lot of people in town, young kids, both boys and girls, teenagers, and a lot of, uh, a lot of older people like me are still, still uh, skating up and down the rink and bashing the puck around.